I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have the Orly Summer Collection for 2020. This is in the ColourPass box which I subscribe to. If you're not familiar with ColourPass it is a subscription box that you can get through Orly where you get each of their four seasonal collections from their core main line uh, and you get it shipped in theory before the collections are available. I, you know they're always available on some website somewhere but in theory you get them before they're available kind of widely which I appreciate, it's pretty fun. Um, they also include some extras every month. Usually it's something from another brand and then something from Orly. This month I think there was, you know, there's a lot going on in your world right now that makes things a little bit complicated. So I, what they included was um, a hand sanitizer spray from Orly. Uh, this is 75% topical solution. And I thought this was brilliant. Honestly, I was like, thank you for sending me something like this instead of sending me a top coat or something. I just appreciated this is definitely something that I will use uh, and it I felt felt like a good move on their part. All right, now let's look at this collection. This is a six piece collection. There are four neons, three and a half neons, three and a half neons, and two creams, both of which are, you know, exciting and interesting, uh, but not neon. And the theme is retro wave. So the names are all like retro in some way. Uh, I was really impressed with this collection, but let's dive in and look at these six shades. Okay, the first shade that we're gonna look at is Gotta Bounce. And before we talk about this shade, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like my new background. I got a little black kind of reflective acrylic background, so let me know what you think. Usually I do the white paper. Uh, this polish is super opaque like this one coat I really could have stopped here um I did do two coats just so that you can see what it looks like uh, and my swatch photo is two coats but it is so opaque this is a really interesting blue it's very very kind of dusty in the bottle and then it dries a little bit darker a little bit deeper it reminds me of um kind of like sailor from Zoya it's got a little bit of purple in it so it's a really pretty really pretty blue but it's a little bit dusty this one isn't like super summery to me, uh, but I mean, I, you know, I love blues. Um, I would wear them any time of year. So I'm, I'm really happy with this one. I don't think I have any other navies from Orly that are quite like this. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. And like I said, that formula is fantastic. So that's two coats of Gotta Bounce. Okay, next up is Far Out, and this is the one that I jokingly refer to as a half neon, because it's not quite neon, but it is like a really, really, really bright blue. And this one is very white-based, it's very, very light in the bottle, but it has a really nice formula, actually. Like, if you can see on this first coat, it's not super chalky, and it's going on very smoothly, and it's pretty opaque. I definitely do think this one you'll want to build up in two coats for sure, but it's pretty smooth, uh, and I do think that, you know, if you had a lot shorter nails than me or maybe did a slightly thicker coat, you could definitely get this one opaque in one coat if you really tried. I also want to comment here on the Orly brush. I think that this brush is probably about, I don't know, maybe 20% narrower than their older brush. I do think this is a new style for them and I am so happy because the old Orly brush was literally the size of my pointer finger and it was bigger than my pinky nail and it was <laughs> so hard for me to work with. It was too wide in my opinion. This one I think is a lot closer to something that's like more manageable for me. I get clean lines with it uh, but it's not like overwhelming my nails. The other thing I want to say about this polish is that it's not drying down matte, it's drying down like kind of semi-matte, uh, which is nice for a brighter polish. Okay, here we go. We're getting into the brighter neons here. This one is So Fly, and it is a super bright neon green. It's not like a highlighter green, it is a true lime neon green. This one also has an amazing formula. Like, look at this coverage in one coat with no white base, super, super opaque, not chalky. I'm... Yeah, I'm really happy with these. Uh, but I will say that it is very hard <laughs> to get neons on camera. So I would say my swatch photo, it definitely looks a little bit darker. I changed the lighting a little bit. Uh, and I think that it is closer to what I saw in person. Of course, polish looks different in every lighting. And so, you know, the lighting you're seeing in my last watch is also true, but you are very rarely going to in your life be sitting under those super bright lights. So I think, you know, the, what, what you see in my live swatch, I tried to edit it to look more like what I see in person when I wore this just like in my office, you know, with my like normal lighting. Uh, so it is that super bright, but very like rich green. Uh, it's not quite as white based as it looks in my live swatch. So that's two coats of Silk Fly. 
Okay, and no neon collection is complete without a yellow, of course. This one is called Oh Snap, which is a very fun name. I like that a lot. Uh, this one is also pretty... I don't know. I just... This formula is pretty good. Uh, it doesn't get quite as opaque on that first coat as the last one that we looked at as the green one it's a little bit streakier but it's not chalky it's not like pulling or hard to you know kind of manipulate on the nails uh it's also pretty opaque for you know one coat no white base i yeah i'm blown away this yellow i would say is a little bit different than like glow stick which of course i'll pull in when i do my comparison video it's a little bit less like highlighter yellow that has that kind of like tinge of green to it and this is more just like pure straight up like yellow jacket yellow like so bright yellow it doesn't have any green in it um so it is pretty different from glow stick both in formula and also in color uh, i do think that this one is opaque in two coats which is kind of astounding um, there's no base here it's just just the color and again i think that my swatch photo is a little bit closer to reality it's just like a little bit less kind of super white okay next up we have hot pursuit this one is so good I love this neon coral. That's what I would describe it as, is neon coral. Uh, because it's not quite pink, it's not quite red, it has like a little bit of both of those colors in there, and I just, yeah, or like a neon watermelon, maybe. Neon watermelon, neon coral. Uh, this one is a little bit more of a jelly formula, so it doesn't quite have that same, you know, like white base to it that the yellow and the green that we looked at did, but this one is... I don't know, just absolutely lovely. I do think that it gets opaque in two coats, which I was surprised by because I thought with the like more jelly formula, it might take a third coat. Uh, but I actually think that this one got opaque in two coats and I am so excited when I swatched this one. I did not want to take it off, uh, but I didn't swatch it last. So I had to take it off so I could swatch the rest of this collection. And I'm really, really excited to wear this one this summer. It's fabulous. Um, so you are looking at two coats of Hot Pursuit. All right, and last in this collection is Psych, and this one is a, I would call this like a mulberry cream, like it's not quite cranberry because it's a little bit more purple, and it's not quite like a whiny color, it has just like a little bit too much juiciness in it to be a whiny color. Again, this one, just like the blue one that we looked at at the beginning, is probably not one that I would like look at and say, oh yes, that screams summer. Uh, but I can see, you know, it's very warm, it's very juicy. I could see this being a nice color that you could really wear like any time of year. Um, and I appreciate that they gave us a couple shades in this collection that aren't neons, you know, they kind of rounded it out with some other colors. I, I think that was a good move on their part. Um, I maybe would have liked to see something a little bit more original. I thought that the glitters they did last summer were really, really good, but this polish has a beautiful formula gorgeous color and excellent finish. All right, so those are the six shades in the Retro Wave collection. I would say that my two favorites, I just, I mean, I don't know, you probably can tell already. I feel like I don't really hide this very well, so it's probably not a shocker. Uh, but these are my two favorites. These are Hot Pursuit and Oh Snap. I was really impressed with this whole collection, honestly. The formulas on these neons are excellent, in my opinion, right? They're excellent. Um, I didn't need a white base. They're super beautiful, super bold. It's so hard to share the actual color with you, so, you know, you're just gonna have to use your imagination a little bit. Neons are really challenging. I just love these. I thought they were excellent, so well done, really, really blew me out of the water. Um, the two other creams in this collection were fine, you know, I feel like I have others like that in my collection, but they, you know, they kind of rounded out the collection a little bit. I appreciated that. So I'm really happy with this collection, really enjoyed it. Let me know if we have favorites in common or if you were into some of the other ones. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and as always, let me know down below what you thought. Will you pick up any of these neons? Did you like my new uh, swatching background? Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, consider subscribing so that we can sit down and hang out and chat about nail polish again sometime. Awesome. I'll see you in the next one.